What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 page, or you can catch me online at www.whatsupinthesky.com. Today I have one that was on my Mars Anomaly Research Society group that's on uh, Facebook. I just found these guys. They're pretty awesome. Now, if you can see what this is, I, this is going to take, this isn't as cut and dry as my, you know, my last couple videos where they, you can see the lake. They look like lakes, looks like water. Um, this is a curiosity, and what I think we see here are uh, some effigies, whether this is something like a, uh, maybe like we're used to walking to a house or a religious place. I always equate things like this with religious places, but when you think about it, half the people in the neighborhood have like statues made out of uh, rock maybe you know especially when you go down it's like the keys the florida keys where we're down there um some of the houses around there have a lot more you know very exciting looking statues and a lot more intricate designs like this i think what we're looking at here and i'm just going to give you the anomalies and let's go um i think you're looking at a maybe a uh an alien hybrid face here and I hate to say that because you know what people think when you say stuff like that but I think you're looking at a chin a mouth a nose and two eyes and if you check it out here it looks like the top of it's been sheared off here you're looking at something that this looks like it used to be a uh, maybe an eyeball socket and this was a mouth and this was sheared off um, what I found really interesting about this picture, and I've white balanced this picture. I'm going to show you what I've done to it right before I flip back to it. That uh, this actually has ornamental, there's a square there and a circle in it. And uh, like an ornamental headdress comes down like the, an eyelid, you know, like a, if you were like a warrior, um, a nose and a mouth from that angle. It's very interesting. When I do these videos, these can go either way. There's also a couple interesting other anomalies in here. This here, here seems to be symmetrical and it has a hole in it. And if my if you follow me, uh, my theories, I think that at one time uh, Mars was a fully functioning planet, had a civilization. I'm not sure how technology, uh, how technological advanced they were. They could have been much more advanced than we are. Maybe not. Um, I think it has to. They were you know structure builders a lot of them just like uh, a lot of our ancient past um, and I'll show you a couple just real quick there's another little cube here it looks like a wheel that's half buried up here um, so if you wanted to check this out and then get out of here let me reset it to how it came from NASA hit the page because I always do this I do not Photoshop these images I get so many emails so this was taken by the rover on the 301st day there on the March the surface um, SOL which is basically your uh, day like uh, an SOL is a Martian day or if you were on you know if you were on Saturn it would be a Saturn day you know if you were on Earth it's an Earth day so basically how many revolutions it took to get around the the Sun I'm pretty sure that's what that means um, so it's taken on the 30, 301st day, so it's still sending back amazing pictures. The mass cam sent this back. Um, there's actually some really great black and white pictures on this too that I'm going to get into later. Um, but this just came up today. I noticed it on that page. And let's go back to my preview. So this is what it comes like when we get it from NASA. Um, and to me... I'm thinking that the NASA team would have spent, a lot of people say, well, how are all these anomalies on these pictures? How, how could it possibly be that we're finding all this stuff, you know? Well, we would, if, if you were going to send, if you thought there was life on Earth, or, you know, life on Earth, and say we'd all died out, say we lived on Venus, and, you know, say we're on Venus, and we thought that there was life on Earth, we would have, uh, you know, maybe try to send a probe to somewhere like New York City where we thought there was definitely life, or somewhere where it seemed like there was a little bit more to it. Um, so let's go down here and take a look at some of these anomalies. And what I did to white balance this, and this, you sometimes, uh, they'll do this them NASA does this themselves they white balance these photos I basically take the temperature this is just a standard uh, editor from you know the preview from uh, you know, this is as standard as it gets on your Apple so I drop the temperature I give it a little bit of tint and a little bit of this up here right there just to give it back its rock and you see how now it looks more earthly so I like working like this from it 
Um, I think you can see a little bit more. At first, let's take a good look at this this one right here, which this is what uh, I was just showing some of my friends and family this one right here, and they said this does look very uh, very face-like, even with the chin, the way it sits, and then the way it comes down here, and it even has these. Uh, these features here in the rocks, see how they're real symmetrical, just a very interesting spot. Um, even down in here, this right here, I really can't tell what that is, whether that's another face or not, um, or maybe just a decorative carving, something along those lines. It does look to be carved out, like this looks to be sheared off, this part of the rock here, like that was just sheared straight off, uh, maybe cut with a rope saw, or who knows what it was actually cut with, what type of technology. Let me move this up a little bit. You've got some uh, circles down here, s some interesting rocks, nothing too out of the ordinary. Um, I really am interested in these, this formation, this formation, and this formation. I have a funny feeling that this was up with this, and this was up here at one time. Like this, this maybe have been just one sheet. See how that's kind of square, you know, leveled off. And that's leveled off down, it kind of comes down, and that goes out that way. I'm thinking that this might have been like this for a while, you know. I think something thrashed, ancient. I lost my uh, pad here, my uh, track pad. Let's see if I can get that back. Um, something thrashed Mars, whether it was the sun, took it over. Here we are, we're back in business. Um, so let's see if we, can, if we can go ahead and sharpen this up a little bit. Oh, here we go. And you will see notice the patterns, circular patterns, the uh, just see how there's a lot of texture to that as it comes down there's a, there's some more circular patterns. I don't know guys, tell me what you think. And I, and to me I see something here like this. I see another head. This would have been an eye. Say if you cut this right down the middle and you didn't have this chunk here that looked like it was broke off. This could be the chunk right there. You could have a, a totally gray alien. Um, and like I said, this is one of the ones where you're going to have to stretch. If you, first off, if you don't believe in aliens, <laughs> you're not going to believe any of this stuff. If uh, you don't believe there could be life out, you know, somewhere else out there in the universe, you'll never believe this. Um, but here, let's say this would be the eyeball. Here's another eyeball. You can see the eyeball open here, and you actually see the uh, retina. You can see it here, the nose and then you can see the mouth and as you get closer to it it actually looks like it's been smudged a little bit right there um, like they've done a little bit of smudging to it which would go figure why they would do that and that does tamper they do tamper with a lot of these uh, photos you'll, you'll notice is once you get into doing this a lot um, then right here you've also got a very interesting just circle it actually kind of looks like a uh, either a snake or <laughs> it just to put into earth terms if you've ever taken apart an engine it looks like a gasket it looks like a head gasket that's just you know just laying there um, this rock right here got a lot of attention in the other videos or the other uh, you know online I, for the people we're talking these rocks that come and stand out are very interesting to me see how this has like almost a, a perfect 90 degree angle comes like that and then this is almost like a wheel that's been buried halfway uh, up here you've got another one of these just strange looking rocks but to me what is so anomalous about this and what made me do the video are your face here this thing this and then let's take a look at this last one here um, as you you could, I'm hoping you can see this. It looks like there's a headdress. Like say this crack wasn't here, move out the crack because it looks like it's got a crack from the underbelly. This could be a million years old. Let's just put it that it could have survived an awful lot of stuff here. Uh, wind storms, rainstorms, who knows what weathering, what type of stuff this actually had. Wars, what this had to survive. But uh, if you look at it, and we're gonna picture that they're looking straight this way, this would be the face plate where your eyeballs are so you can see one of the eyeballs and uh, you know maybe some this would have been decorative up at the top like a warrior um, you know like one of the uh, what was that here place here on earth that had these let me think if I can think here um, the nose the mouth it's kind of like an Easter Island look one of the uh, 
that or like some of the old Olmecs. It actually looks like, more like an Olmec. It looks very much like an Olmec statue would here on Earth. Um, I should have had one of those ready to go, but let me make it. See if I can make it a little bit bigger for some of my buddies and friends out there who have uh, a couple people with uh, people that can't see well. They're on their phones. They say, "Make it big, make it big," which for people with the big screens, it makes it really blurry. But let's see. And let me go ahead. I'm going to reset it just back. This is how it came from NASA, so we can take a look at actually how they had it come in and. I don't know. What do you think? Let me know below. Do you think that's a uh, a carving of an alien? Do you think it's just a rock that just so happens there's three rocks, four rocks here that look like they're carvings of uh, representations of living beings or living things? Let me know. Hit the subscribe button. You know I got much more videos. This was one that just came off the cuff today. I, uh, I've been looking to get back to a curiosity one. 11 minutes in already. I don't know how I let these things go so long. So long. Much love.